Hello, I would like to show you how to use the M block, uh, the M block program, M block 5, just to get a minimal program on your board. So I have the M core here, it's part of the M bot. And all I did is I connected it to the USB port of my computer, and you do need these batteries. Be sure to put this thing on, on otherwise you cannot upload your data. Alright, turn this thing on now, like I do now as well. You can't see it, you get to trust me, but it's on. So if you start M block, this is what I get. And here we see that the device is Kodi. We don't use Kodi, we use uh, the Mbot block. So you click on add, click on Mbot. This is the thing I have. I only use the board itself, not the complete construction around it. And here I have the right bot will be added to here. You can see that the actions also change. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect to the um, to the to the board. Oh, yeah. Well, I should plug it in, I guess. So I have not connected it to the USB yet. I do that now. Perhaps you hear the the the, the, the sound of Windows. I'm going to connect again and let's see if it can find it. So uh, I guess it it does. Well done. So I am connected now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a very minimal, simple program. So the device is connected. I can update, I don't do that now. And what I'm going to do is, ah, this is a bit of confusing. You'll see what's going to happen. I'm going to, don't forget to turn upload mode to on. To turn it on, you can see that you get different blocks then. So if you turn it off, you get all these things that do stuff, but you want to have the upload mode on, so that means when you disconnect your M-Bolt from the computer, you can run anything. And what I'm going to do is when the M-Bolt starts up, then what I'm going to do is I want to do something forever, and I want to, well, I want to sense when the on board button is pressed. That's the thing I will need. I want to make some LEDs blink, probably show, yes. I want to have an one LED to show red, the other I want to show green. I will consult the green. That's what I want, and I want an if statement. I want if a button is pressed. If the button is pressed then it should sh put one LED there. Oh, I want the if else statement. Oops. Well, let's do it. If the button is pressed, it should show red. Else, both LEDs should show green. This can be put in the bin. Done. So um, you can't see the whole program because, well, uh, my screen has a bit of a low resolution. But if I upload it now, you will see it will upload this program. This takes about 10 seconds if there are red lights, uh, if there are errors here. It usually means, at least the error I got is because I had, I had Kodi enabled instead of Mbot. So now it's uploading. It takes 10-20 well, seconds, like I said. And of course I'm going to verify if it works. And uh, you have to trust me on that as well. Uh, that it works, so there, there the progress bar goes. So what I do here as well is I only use onboard sensors, not like things you connect to it. So this is a nice first program as well. And this takes well, longer than I expected. Perhaps I need to... Well. So let's test it out. So if I take a look at my board, I see that it's green now, which is true because I don't press uh, the button, if I press it, yes indeed, all LEDs turn to red. Well, so that is my video. Um, I can actually disconnect the, um, the, the, uh, the, the circuit board now. I do that just to verify if it works. And the, well, the program is still on it. Also thanks to the batteries. If I turn on and off the circuit board, the program is still on there and it still works brilliantly. 
So that was my video. I've showed you how to put a minimal program on the M-Core circuit board of the M-Bot. And I wish you a very good day. Bye!